So this guy in the audience is sitting in lesbian row. I say to him, hey, come up here. Have you ever seen this show? Good acting. Anyway, check him out. See if he's carrying. Pat him down. Pat him down. Pat him down the other side. You just lift up your arms a second so the horse can pat you down and say. All right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Riley. This will be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Everything's cool. <laughs> <clears throat> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Joe. And you're from? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. And what are you doing here in Los Angeles, California, if I may ask? I'm here on business. Business? Yes. Would it be impolite of me to ask what business you are in? Um, the healthcare industry. The healthcare industry? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know you haven't seen the show before, man. You need to give me a little more than this. Okay. All right. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, healthcare industry, eh? Yes. Sir. yes. Um, and are you here with anyone? I am here with someone in Lesbian Row, yes. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> friend? Uh, co worker, yes. Co worker. And friend, yes. Co worker and friend. Yes. I see. Uh huh. You play your cards pretty close to your chest, don't you, Joe? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that thing you did with your ass. <laughs> Are you originally from Miami? I am not. I'm from Philadelphia area. Philadelphia, eh? Do you enjoy the cheesesteaks? I do. Uh, obviously, a little too much. Oh, yeah. stop. Yeah. Stop. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, good news. Yes. We're going to send you to a restaurant. Okay. Go on. <laughs> Where? I don't know. Whatever restaurant you want, go. Okay. No, it, I can't. No. If you can answer a simple question, oh, no. we will send you uh, to a, which restaurant we send them to, Michael? Uh, Master of Steakhouse Beverly Hills. Master of Steakhouse Beverly Hills. Uh, do you enjoy the steak? Yes. You yes, do? You like, you, yes. you, 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 you like? <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask him a question. Okay. Walk this way. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why have I never watched this show before? <laughs> it is so entertaining. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. So, Joe, if that is your real name. <laughs> it is today, yes. Um, Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Yes. <laughs> no? Uh, so that means I got the question right. Yeah. <laughs> so I go to the restaurant. <laughs> Something for me! Sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Okay, good, everyone. Really very good indeed. You have saved the warm-up comedian's job for one more day. Yeah, that's right, yeah. You've yeah. clearly been warmed to the point of a frenzy. <laughs> Yeah, blast them with sexy air or something Blast them like with, that. is that what he said tonight? I don't know, something like I heard that. him yeah. say, I, before I came out, I heard the, we call him a warm-up comedian now. Yeah, he's not really a comedian. Not really That's a comedian. He's, no, he's, not. he's a guy called Bob that we met at, uh, where did we meet him? On the street. On the street. On the street. <laughs> he's a vagrant. We met him by a, by a traffic light. Traffic light, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> he was doing the windows. The windows, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, the, uh, yeah, I heard him before I came out, he said, make a uh, blow him and uh, make him stagger hard. Is that make what he Make him stagger he hard, said? yeah. Stagger it. Stagger your blows. S yeah. <laughs> what? Spread them out. Spread oh, your yeah, blows spread out. Them out. Stagger, yeah, all right. them. stagger them. Yeah. All right. Um, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> Great day! I am very excited uh, because uh, the uh, Prince, uh, you know Prince. Yeah, Prince. Wow, yeah. he's he's got his first new album in four years is out today. Wow. I haven't heard it yet. I only listen to music that Apple forcibly puts on my phone. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so angry about yeah. getting free music, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stand free. Ah, uh, anyway, do we have a picture of Prince? That's his guitar. Where's he? <laughs> oh, oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, he's, can you, I, you can do his voice, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me the picture and you do his yeah, voice. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking me. Uh, yeah. Do you think, can I just have a look at the hands on yeah, I don't yeah. think that's really Prince's hands. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very large. <laughs> that's this, this the laziest piece of Photoshop it's I've terrible. seen. And that's saying something around here. Anyway, he's <laughs> tiny, you see. That's what they were trying to... Anyway, he's getting a little old now. He's too old for a little red Corvette. He's going to have to go shopping for a big pink rascal. <laughs> 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 no, I've, I've got a big pink rascal. Yes. You've seen it. Have, oh, you've I've seen, seen it. it. Yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. it. Yeah. I, when I go to Vegas, I scoot around on it. Yeah, you do. And, and so do I. <laughs> Well, there's room for two. Yeah, sure there is. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, Hillary Clinton was supposed to attend a fundraiser in Maryland today, but she skipped it and sent Bill instead, and I'm like, Hillary? <laughs> if you send Bill to Maryland by himself, do not be surprised if he comes back with crabs, because yeah. that's what you get from Maryland. Uh, yeah. he, he'll bring him back on his big pink rascal. That's right, that's right. He's probably got a big pink rascal. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Helps me get around. <laughs> That's the button, right? <laughs> Press the button and it moves. You gotta stagger those blows. Yeah, you do. <laughs> do you know that uh, Michael Phelps, the half man, uh, half fish, uh, is in trouble? You know, he is. He's got webbed feet and hands. Yeah, that's true. That? Yeah. Yeah, he's he's actually. <laughs> He's, no, I think he might have webbed feet, but yeah, I don't think he has webbed hands. <laughs> and, and he's got a thing that when he's angry, it goes <laughs> like that. His... And when he's, when he's frightened, he goes... <laughs> anyway, he's in a bit of trouble. He's in a bit of hot water because he was arrested for his second DUI. Now, because he's an athlete who's repeatedly in trouble with the law, today he was made an honorary member of the NFL. Yeah. Boom! Yeah. Boom! There you go. See what I did? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> let's do let's do sports jokes. Yeah, okay. Well, let's good. talk sports. You want to talk sports? Yeah, let's talk. All right. Sports, you see the yeah. game last night? Oh yeah, yeah. Was, Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I just kicked back. I put my feet up. I watched all the action while I just rested comfortably. Oh no, wait. That was Tom Brady. Ha ha. See, <laughs> that is a sports joke. <laughs> yeah. Some people are saying it's all over for Tom Brady because without the football, what does he have left? Other than an awful lot of money in the Super Bowl rings and the supermodel wife, where does it go wrong, Tom? <laughs> the Patriots got crushed last night, though. Crushed. Crushed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 14 to 41. Oh, yeah. Big number. They, they got the 14. Yeah, they got the 14. Yeah, crushed. They were crushed. Cru <laughs> Big game. Big let's game. Do, let's do sports jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, then, they were crushed. I t it was easier to score uh, on them than uh, Jeff. Uh, than uh, Kardashian on a first date. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do, you... do another sports joke. All right. Uh, let's see. It was uh, easier to score on them. The, their defense had more holes in it than the iCloud. <laughs> the iCloud. <laughs> That's a sports thing. Yeah. The game had more bad plays than Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yeah. Boom, there. Yeah, that's that? Good. Yeah, that's good. Oh, the, the Patriots were tackling worse than White House security. Okay. 
Nice. That's something. Not That's nice. Something. That's yeah, good. Right. But it's all because I'm going to ride. Yeah, all right. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. All right, I'll do one. Brady had more bad throws than the pillow section at Bed Bath Beyond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there were more fumbles than a Joe Biden speech. Nice. Yeah. All right, all right. I hear I haven't seen that many sacks since that Liberace movie. Yeah, done. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. You know, in the ten years we've been doing this show, that is the most sports jokes we've ever done. It's probably in all the shows put together. In all, all time, yeah. Do we have a graphic for that? Yeah! Sports! Yeah. Uh, yeah. I feel very heterosexual after all that. Do you? Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel manly. Yeah. Want a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> want to touch my big... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take, come on, let's take a ride in my big, okay, big basket. Yeah, why not? Uh, you want to go to the... Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. You're watching The Late Late Show with the artist formerly known as Big Pink Rascal. <laughs> been an email segment on yeah, the show today. Gone, it's gone. Let me tell you why, because it gives more time to my first guest. That's why, who is a legend, an American comedy legend. He will be performing at the October the 11th and, the, and October the 12th, two days right next to each other, at the Orleans in Las Vegas, and November the 21st at the Wild Horse Pass, Pass <laughs> Casino. And really, do I have to do all these damn dates? <laughs> The Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. We played that. That's a good one. That's, That's a, a good, good one. one. Yeah. yeah. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles. <laughs> paramedics. Uh, you're all right? What's going on? I've never seen you with a cane before. Are you all right? No, no, I'm playing soldier. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I'll straighten the cap. The cane woke up one morning, had a little pimple on the, on the leg, you know? Yeah. Why am I on an angle and you're sitting so far? Well, here, I'll come around. <sighs> no, no, let's not get crazy. Tell me about it, Don. Little pimple, little pimple, and all of a sudden, uh, my wife says, let the doctor come over. I want him to see the... And he came up at one, two, three. And Ann Peters, that's the doctor. And she said, uh, you're going to the hospital. I said, what? You know, turns out that I have what they call... I can't even pronounce it. He gives you a voturitis. <laughs> can he say that? I can say whatever I want. This show isn't going to make it anyway. <laughs> you feel better than I take it. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, uh, Craig, I really don't know the pronunciation. I always screw it up. No, I, anyway, it's a disease that, that eats up on the flesh. It really oh, does. Oh, no. No, I'm making it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it eats up on the flesh, and it, it could be very serious. And so I went to the hospital and had uh, uh, seven operations. Oh, and uh, look at their reaction. Good. <laughs> no, I don't think they're saying good. I think they're like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Jump in when you think of something funny. All right. Hey, well, let, tell you, let me just move this handle for you here, all right? Okay. It's the very, very provocative place. <laughs> it's right there. You don't understand that, that God's spider. Oh. <laughs> and spider gets restless and comes out of the pajamas about four in the morning and goes... What kind of spider are we talking about? A brown recluse? Is that what we're talking about? The spider that makes the wife smile once in a while. 
Yeah, she's a patient woman. <laughs> she's a patient woman. Hey, when you're 88, you don't do too much of that. You just stand in the hall and say, we did it. <laughs> anyway, uh, now, I, I'm 88. How old are you now? 52. You look it. Thanks. I'll tell you this. <laughs> No, when you get to be 88, you'll be able to talk about it. No, but, uh, no this show I knew I was going to be on because I knew they have about four gurneys in the back waiting for me. <laughs> so, no, anyway, so th th this disease eats the flesh, and thank God they caught it in time. And uh, I got a little bit of uh, these operations, and, and now it works. It'll take a little while and with therapy. So I'll, you'll get back on your feet. Yeah, well, and uh, I, I must say that really the, the doctors were, were fantastic. They really were. They looked at and said, legs got to go. Anyway, uh, no, they didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think what happened is that they all went, uh, oh, yeah. no. I wouldn't worry if it did go because Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp promised me a part on a pirate movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, so folks, you... I tell you the truth. Everything I say to you, I did up in my room tonight and I laughed my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, does that mean you can get back on the road? Are you going to go back out and do... Oh, you're doing the live dates, you're doing the, I, I, the Orleans... I've and done eight shows already, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I take the cane and walk out and get around with it, and, you know. Do you uh, walk around with the cane? You don't no, sit no, down? No, 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 they put skates on my ass. And I I'm just, just saying, like Bill Cosby now, Bill, when Bill does his act now, he sits down. He sits down and he does his show sitting down. Nothing wrong with that. No, hey, he's a black man, he's got a president, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> no, Bill's a good friend of mine. You did a little take behind uh, my no, back. No, I just, I did a tiny little one. I was just, a, I'm just trying to save my job. Uh, you did a little <laughs> take behind my back. I'm just trying to save the job until Christmas, dog. That's all I'm doing. And then he became a Nazi. One minute I he became a Nazi. I'm not a Nazi. We've been through this before. Okay. I just like doing a German accent and marching up and down. That doesn't make me a Nazi. Okay. <laughs> Anybody got a Valium? <laughs> yeah. All of them. I, the particularly that guy that's in Lesbian Row, right? <laughs> He's had a few. You're very good, sir. <laughs> Go to the dentist. <laughs> anyway, uh, no, your teeth are great. Your teeth are great. Broads aren't bad either. Uh, you know? Well, you know, that's... that's... I'm, a, I'm a married man. I, I'm married now. How, about, how long? You're married an hour. I was at... The... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, an hour and a half. Uh, uh, sure. Short. I've been married. Uh, uh, in May, it'll be 50 years. Congratulations. That's it. That's fantastic. <laughs> you people have voted. You haven't seen her. Come on, no. I well, she'll laugh, because with the jewelry she's got, she's got to laugh. Well. She sits down in Malibu with a ring going, that's a ship. <laughs> now, she's, you know, Jewish people always go with the jewelry. But jewelry's going out of style now. Everything's, you know, fake make makeup. You're not a Jewish guy, are you? The guy with the glasses staring at me. <laughs> You're Irish. Oh, are you a mute? <laughs> Can you not? Can you many talk to me? The whole idea of a talk show is you talk to me, Don. That's the thing. Now you come. You don't talk to the paid hobos that we grow off Hollywood Boulevard. You come and you talk to me. They, they got their candy. Why would I talk to you? You're going. Oh, come on. You're, you're going off the air in about an hour. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm only here until Christmas. Come on. And you're bringing in one of your buddies from uh, from England. Then. Well, well. I love those guys. Mummy, daddy's home. Anyway. Uh, why are they bringing in an English guy, honestly? You know, I, I, I think he's very, very good, actually. He's very good. Yeah. Very talented. Very talented man. <laughs> he is. He is. I've, I, you know, he's, he's very good. He'll be fine. Big liar. <laughs> no, I'm sure the guy will be fine. I'll, I can rush over you, here. You can, come and, you can come and help him out. You'll be on, because you were on the early shows with me. You said to me, uh, you said, I'll come on your show once it's a hit. That's what you said to me. <laughs> did I say that? Yeah, you did. You, you see the response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, you, you were a hit. You had a nice run. Now you go back to what you usually do in Scotland, playing with your skirt. That's not a job, though, playing with your skirt. I mean, it's fun and everything, but it's not a job. I'll, do, I'll move on. I'll do something else. I think I'm going to be a detective. <laughs> yeah, that's right. In a Jewish ghetto. <laughs> No, nah, you'll, you'll be all right. You, I know you're having, a, you're having a game show. Yeah, I'm doing a game show. And yeah. then, and, oh, I don't want to miss that. <laughs> I got a little twitch. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? You don't like game shows? Everybody loves game shows. Sure, you know, it's like uh, Fallon was a wonderful kid. He said, you want to be on the show? I said, I don't play ping pong. And so, uh, I don't play ping pong. Now listen, that's funny. <laughs> now you know what I felt like during the monologue. That's why we went, that's 
we cut, that's why we cut straight to you. There was no point in doing it anymore with these people. Uh, these are nice people. Uh, I guess the bus hit the wall and they're all here. <laughs> I think... I think it's pretty hot outside and they were attracted by the air conditioning. That's what I think is really going on. No, you always get a nice audience, really. It's a, yeah. Not many, but a nice audience. <laughs> you know, I love over this section, Grandma Moses and a couple of other people. Hey. Oh, no. Listen, no. We, have, we have to take a break. We have to take a commercial You don't break. have to beg. Do it. All right, then. We'll be right back with Don Rickles, everybody. I'm here with Don Rickles, who's just giving me some career advice and helping me out and being supportive as you usually are. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what a I tell night. you who this was is here. So exciting. I tell you who was here. Who? It was your daughter Mindy. She came and did stand up. Oh, is that what she calls it? Oh, <laughs> no, she'll be offended by that. I love you, sweetheart. No, she's trying to be fun. And she has my delivery. She does. Yeah. I just hope, you know, it was a lot of years. I told her it's a lot of years. I, I worked in places with a boss sat with a bathrobe and when, uh, while I was on, went. <laughs> I did that when Mindy was on. <laughs> no, she was good. Ah, that's, gonna, that's gonna cost you. No, oh, come on. <laughs> now she's a good kid. She's beautiful, and I wish her luck. She wants to be an actress, and she's talented. She, she might make it. Cause Daddy's getting tired of carrying her. <laughs> right, man. It's okay. She's got a wonderful fine. husband, Ed, and they, they do okay. <laughs> now what do we do? I was just going to, I was going to talk to you about this. Have you decorated this? Is this something? No, no, no. This, it comes like this with all the right. glitter. It's this Broadway. is like some kind of Vegas? It's situation? Broadway. You don't know from that. You only know from uh, Scotland. Hey, 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 mommy, daddy, daddy, mommy. <laughs> mommy, daddy. You got the wrong place, man. Well, you come from Scotland, don't well, you? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. But me, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your papers. <laughs> anyway, uh, he talks like he belongs here. One well, phone call, boom, it's over. No, no, I'm a, citi I'm a citizen now. I'm a citizen oh, now. Oh, you became a citizen? No, I became a citizen. Oh, yeah. that's neat. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. It's a very, very difficult exam. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Hello, America. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, do you like gum? Do you hate Al-Qaeda? Come on in. <laughs> Get the FBI on the phone. No, come on. <laughs> Get this guy a meal. You, you, what's anyway, wrong? You uh, hate the skeleton. Why do you hate the skeleton so much? I don't, don't say hate. I never use the word hate. Oh, oh I really? I a young man that plays that part, and he's wonderful. Right. No, I just said when I was working with him the last time, I, I didn't know how to handle it because he was talking, and it annoyed me because how am I going to kill a guy like this? <laughs> you know, I had that flesh-eating disease once. <laughs> Just when I was being nice, you turned yeah. on me. Yeah, I know. That's what I, well, I You always do that to me. What's, uh, what's well, that? You're playing New Orleans. I like New Orleans in Vegas. Oh, good. I'll tell them. Yeah. <laughs> no, Vegas is still Vegas. I mean, it changed from how it used to go. But, but Vegas, there's something about it that's always exciting. It really is. Atlantic City is having a little trouble right now, but they'll come back pretty strong. But Atlantic City, but Vegas is having a little trouble. Is but it? I get a little, yeah. When I was single, it was no trouble at all. Uh, <laughs> A waitress went, is that the tip? Anyway, uh... Can you say that? He's not wrinkled. He can say it. He's down well pleased. We gotta go. It's good to see you. Good to see you, and thank you for your time. I'm gonna go to a place now that's a hit. <laughs> no, I wish you the best. I know you're gonna leave the, uh, in, in Christmas time next year. But uh, really, of all the jokes and kidding around, you're a real gentleman, and I wish you the very best. You and your wife, who has a lovely wife. She's and, very attractive, you, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll say it. I, I, she used to be a hooker in Jersey. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you went too far! <laughs> who would have thought Don Rickles would have gone too far? <laughs> but seriously, from my heart, I, I wish you the very best. You're a charming gentleman and a nice man, and I... Wish you every every success. Good luck. I love you too, Carl. Thanks a lot. Don't wreck us, everybody. We'll be right back.
actress. You can see her in From Dusk Till Dawn, which is now on Netflix and the DVDs. Take a look at this. Sensational, may I say? Thank you so much. You, you I look just it. fantastic and well done on the. Are you a vampire? Oh, you can tell, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit vampire y creeping. Oh, like that. Yeah, yeah no, it's good. Is this based on. The, is it from, the, like, the movie? Yeah, based on the movie. Robert oh. Rodriguez is directing it. So I'm very happy to be able to be in the States doing this. It's just. Oh, me too. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, <laughs> Where are you from originally, Mexico? I was born and raised in Mexico City, okay. yes. And uh, when, did you come here for this job? I came for this job, obviously. I wanted to do a little bit of a crossover. I've been working since I was really young in Mexico, since I was like 14. Because you're, you're a singer uh, as well, right? Yeah, I right. used to sing when I was, um, well, I still sing, but um, I started doing shows for Nickelodeon and stuff for kids. Uh, Mexican Nickelodeon or? Latin America. Oh, really? Yeah. What is that like? Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've never seen Mexican Nickelodeon. I think I'd quite like, I'd quite like to see that. Actually, do they have SpongeBob Square Panto? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it kind of is. It's um, a Bob Esponja. Really? Which it's like, yeah, it's so weird. I actually, every time I watch, now that I live in the states and I get to watch the original voices and everything. Right. It's another story a whole other world like and they changed the stories completely it just makes no sense i don't know who's dubbing, dubbing all those stuff no it's they like this show as well i know <laughs> anyway so i remember seeing this movie this was uh george clooney and quentin tarantino yes and salma hayek did yeah. the, do you play the salma uh part yes because I, I know salma hayek oh really yes i do i did a film with her years ago and oh really yeah 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 and she's she's uh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> She's a very attractive woman. She is wow. so yeah. hot. She dances the, with the, the snake. Did yeah. you do the snake dance? I did the snake dance. Um, no pressure whatsoever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thinking, oh, welcome to America. Dance with that snake that everyone remembers. And it was right. kind of difficult. How for are me. you with snakes? Do you like snakes? I was scared of snakes. <laughs> but I mean, you don't get scared anymore. Scared to dance? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You don't get scared anymore when you actually know that that snake has been in every part of your body. So I was like not scared anymore. <laughs> I mean, this snake's more knows more about me than myself. <laughs> this is making me very nervous. I think, much like Don Rickles, you went a bit too far. <laughs> Oh, don't. We all say but the, things. The remember. point came across. Oh, is that a tattoo? Your yeah, I have a lot of tattoos. Oh, yes, yeah, so you do. You're like a little illustration book. <laughs> Look, yeah. how many do you have? I have ten. Oh, ten no, you've got to get more. More, yeah, because you've got to have like an 11. odd number. Yeah, odd number. I right. know about this, but I got to a point when I was young, I was a little bit rebellious, and I was like, I'll get tattooed all over the place. And then kind of wanted to be more of a lady. I don't know if that's working. <laughs> yes, you, you're but, very I mean, elegant. I, I, well, but my mom was like, girl, you need to stop getting tattoos. So I kind of stopped, but I'm definitely thinking of getting a new one. One well, more. Well, you know, it doesn't make you not a lady to have tattoos. I've met very nice ladies with really? tattoos. I mean, yes, I have. <laughs> Yes, like me? I, I, well, I, yeah, not all of them as attractive <laughs> as you, but yes. 
Um, no, I, I've got a lot of, I like tattoos. Can I'm, I see, you? do you have one? Yeah, I have, it's a snake here, actually. Oh, so you it? like a snake? So well, a little bit. <laughs> this is a very, this is a very American uh, symbol. This is, Benjamin Franklin did this in 1754. Oh. First symbol of the United Colonies. Didn't you sit the citizenship exam? Yes. <laughs> That's not in it. It's, I got this, though, when I became a citizen. Amazing. How long have you been a citizen? Since, for? like, 2008 or something. Oh, awesome. And, and are you a citizen? Not yet. Oh, it's great. When you become a citizen, I, it was like one, there was a huge group of people at Pomona Flair, Fairgrounds. It was uh -huh. one new Scottish American and 3,000 new Mexican Americans. <laughs> <laughs> and we were all Americans that day. We were like, yeah! Yes! I feel like I'm going to be one of those. Are you going to do it? Yes, I'm definitely going to do it. Oh, good for I you. Love, I love the state, so I'm happy living here. Well, that's nice. Uh, what else are you going to do then after this? What about Broadway? Tap dancing? Tap dancing? Yeah, can you tap dance? Um, I can't tap dance, but I can dance a really? little bit. I'm not too um, synchronized <laughs> sometimes. I'm, I'm. What would you like to do? Like, if you could do any film at all, would it like, be a horror film? I don't know, maybe some um, drama. Or I like to sing, too, so something. What about a musical. talk show? Why don't you do a talk show? I'm not as good as you. No, no, no you don't have to be good. Uh, you, you just do it. <laughs> you don't have to be good at it. Just do it. Just fine. Just, just do it. We'll yeah. see what happens. You got a skeleton, a robot thing, and a horse. <laughs> You'll be fine. I know, right? Yeah, that's all you need. I need... I got mine after I became a citizen. <laughs> it's like, congratulations, you're now a citizen, here's your talk show. That's amazing. So it's, the only thing I need is a citizenship. That's yeah, all yeah, I you got to study for it. And it's harder horse. now. <laughs> I like, is it Rodriguez directing this, is he? Yeah, Robert he's been directing. He's been here before, you know. Yeah, he loves you. He actually... I love him, too. He's got a lovely hat. Right? Yeah. Couple of lovely he's, hats. You know what? He's like, a, he's a proper man. No, he's like... Mm. He's yeah, like where's a, a hat? He's like a where's tech a hat and stun, right? Knows about things. Yeah. Kind of like, I'll fix it, and he puts up a <laughs> shelf and stuff. <laughs> like a man. He's know? a real man. Yeah, like, yeah. He's from yeah. Texas. And men right. from Texas are like cowboys. Like, Is that what you men. like? Do you like manly man, manly, manly man? <laughs> Is that bad? No, not at all. Just kind of passing the time, really. It's, <laughs> it's a do. talk show. It's just kind of the things we do. <laughs> I do, I do. Um, it, it's nice to have a man to help you, especially when you're moving in as a woman, poor Mexican woman that doesn't know what to do. In America, language barriers, it's oh. always good to like have someone to help you, and if it's a manly man that can carry your stuff, be like, on a truck. So American, but in a truck. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm not worried about you at all. You're going to be fine. Anyway, congratulations on this, and Thank uh, you. we have to go to the commercials now. We have to? Yes. But I'm having so much fun. Yeah, I, 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 trust me, I'd rather stay too. But uh, <laughs> it's commercial time. And I, but boy, these uh, commercials are great for great products. <laughs> This was, uh, the, uh, I, Robert Rodriguez made this for me. Oh, look, that's bad ass, it's from dude. Dustal Dawn. It's a, it's a snake mug, but look, it's bigger than my mug. <laughs> Maybe they can get along. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, this is on your TV right now. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Robert Rodriguez, for this lovely thing. My next guest is a very funny comedian. He's from Scotland. <laughs> there can be only one. <laughs> He's at Laugh Boston uh, in Boston, Massachusetts, October the 2nd to the 4th. Please welcome the very, very funny Daniel Sloss, everybody. Daniel Sloss. It's nice to be here. I like, uh, I like America. Very, America's very close to my heart. Uh, it's the country I came to uh, when I first discovered that I was gay. And uh, I'm not, but you guys are pretty adamant. 
Uh, I am I'm, I'm straight, don't know why, I'm not particularly good at it. Uh, my last girlfriend, there were sort of failures in uh, communication. Uh, she said that she was open to a lot of things sexually. Uh, turns out one of those things wasn't criticism. <laughs> And I, I'm not, I mean, I'm not the best person in the world, but I take solace in knowing that it's not my fault, that I'm a bad person, like it's my parents' fault, they failed. <laughs> like they had one job and boom. <laughs> and because like, I was my parents' first child, right? Any other, any other first kids in? Yeah. It's not your fault that you're messed up, because being the first child, I was my parents' first child ever in their whole lives. Like, there was no trick. Being the first child, you're just the child. They try stuff on and see if it scars you. They're just like, let's see if this messes them up. Okay, we won't do that to the next one. Good to know. We're learning. Turns out they don't like it when you rub lemons in their eyes. That's good to know. Now, now we know. Okay, I'm gonna take them for a bath. You bring the toaster. Let's rock this. That's, that's why I know I'm not my parents' favorite child because I was the beta test. <laughs> like, no one's first car is the best one. It's the third one. Like, but being the, like, and every parent denies having a favorite child. That's something they're so proud. No, of course they don't have a favorite. No, of course they don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> everyone has a favorite child, okay? That's just, sorry, uh, not everyone. Uh, every parent has a favorite child. <laughs> um, uh, if you're not a parent and you have a favorite child, Stop that. <laughs> That's bad. Do you have any favorite kids? I quite like that one. <laughs> Is he yours? No, but Dibs. <laughs> my parents are very interesting people as well. Like, my mother has a PhD in microbiology. She's very high up in her job to the point where she's outsourced by the UN to travel around the world, giving lectures on mercury emissions and greenhouse gases. Uh, so, a bit of a show off. Um, bit of a nerd. Uh, didn't know my mother in high school, but I can safely assume that teenage pregnancy was never really a concern. <laughs> my dad's equally smart, currently developing 3D underwater, uh, 3D underwater sonar, which is a system as impressive as it sounds. Sends these wave downs, will give you pictures of the 3D ships at the bottom of the ocean. So it's a miracle that I was born. <laughs> Because these are two people who had absolutely no right to see the genitalia of the opposite sex. <laughs> but by some miracle, the universe forced them together. They met, they fell in love, they got married, they consummated that marriage, and two months later, I was born. <laughs> My dad's very good at sort of doing me. He's a very good husband. Uh, I remember when my mother was diagnosed uh, with my second brother. <laughs> um, touchy subject, guys. She still has him, so it's still pretty serious. Um, <laughs> but she went to the pregnancy classes. You know the pregnancy classes that women can go to to practice overreacting? Um, <laughs> I don't even mean it. Um, <laughs> But you know the classes. And there was an opportunity in the afternoon where the dads could get up and try the gas and air. Uh, you know, the gas and air that they get during labor just to see what it was like. And my dad took a couple of puffs. And he sat back down beside my mum. She went, how'd you feel? I went, no, I feel kind of feel kind of good, feel kind of lightheaded, it's really good. I can see, could see why you'd want that during labor. It's great, yeah, what, what are you complaining about? My mum leaned over, punched him in the crotch, went, still bloody hurts though, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, you guys have been great. I've been Niall Slaw, thank you very much.